Over the past seven years since I've been riding e-bikes, I have tested bikes from more than a dozen companies. But for the past two weeks, I've been testing out a cruiser bike from a company that is new to me, and the bike looks perfect for riding through the neighborhood, along a beach town, or enjoying the summer scenery. Let's take a closer look. Hello everybody, this is Matthew Miller, otherwise known as Palm Solo, and I'm coming at you with another e-bike review. This one is the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser, and it has a rather unique design about it. If you look at the bike, it has kind of a swept back design in the layout of the frame and everything, but it's really the key is the swept back handlebars that we see here. Um, it has a 25.4 millimeter, 50 millimeter rise and a 40 degree sweep back here. So when you're sitting on it, you're really just sitting on back and cruising down the road. It kind of stands out from other bikes I've tested. I've never tested a cruiser bike of this form. And in addition to these interesting handlebars and the sweep back, is located along the frame and you can use the key to unlock it drop the battery out and take the battery out with you and charge it it is a ul 2271 certified battery so it's all safe and good there it does come with a, a rather small uh, front light and a rear light and unfortunately there is no brake lights on those has uh, of course the hydraulic disc brake system, 180 millimeters of travel, and an eight-speed Shimano shifter. It does come with alloy fenders that are actually very well built and put onto this bike, very stout, and a wide seat here. This is a very, it has no shocks below the seat. Oh, I guess it has a little bit of shock below the seat, but it's really a cushioned seat and pretty wide seat saddle there too. So that wide saddle isn't gonna be great for a lot of exercise with lots of miles, but it's a great one to sit back and just cruise. It does have 150 pound rear capacity on this rack. This is a very stout rack. As you can see, the rack is built into the frame itself, welded to the frame. So this is not a removable rack. It is here all the time. It does have uh, some bolt openings for adding on additional accessories with it. The bike itself, can hold 350 pounds of capacity with the bike weighing in at 65 pounds. It's not too bad, uh, it is a little bit heavy. Um, it does have a passenger kit available, so you can add a seat and some pegs to the back, and you can put a second person back here, and there's a lot of other accessories available as well to be able to outfit this bike. It does have IP65 dust and water resistance, so if you're out and you happen to be get caught in the storm or some rain, it's not gonna destroy the bike or anything. They do advertise a 30 to 50 mile range. Now that is highly dependent on using the throttle or the pedal assist. It does have five pedal assist levels. Uh, they say 30 to 50 miles. I'm seeing about that 30, right? I, I'm not the lightest person. I do use a bit of throttle, but it's also really nice to cruise on this bike with those eight speeds. It is class three, so you can get up to 28 miles per hour with pedal assist. And over on the left side, there is a 2.2 inch monochrome backlit display with very easy to operate plus minus and on off kind of buttons. So very easy to operate. And that throttle is a thumb throttle on the left side with the shifters on the right side. One thing that's really nice about this bike is that it has this faux leather hand grips on here. So it's very comfortable, has some ergonomics for your palm rest. And then of course the hydraulic brakes. Now, of course, in any e-bike review, there's going to be some likes and dislikes. Uh, for this one, I really like the configuration. It's very comfortable when you sit down on it and you sit back and those handlebars are placed back. It allows you to sit up quite a bit and just cruise. It's very, very comfortable that way. It does have very high quality fit and finish. The paint on here is a matte finish. It's uh, very well applied. The welds are nice. And uh, I also like the tire size, right? It's kind of a, it's not a fat tire bike, but it's also not a skinny street tire bike. So it has a nice size and style width and tread on the, on, the, uh, on the tires. Some of the things I don't really like is despite the comfort of the sweat bar back handlebars, they're also very wide. So this bike, when you store it, it's, uh, it's a bit difficult to store. The handlebars make this a very wide, 
outline of the frame and then also the pedals are not removable for helping out with some storage and things like that so that that kind of bugs me one other thing i would like to see is i want to see brake lights on on all bikes nowadays just for safety when you're riding in a group and on this bike when you're cruising around a neighborhood or a city or something it is nice to have a brake light rather than just a, a red light that's back there now the ride one up cafe cruiser is available for 12.95 for this carbon matte color for $100 more, $13.95, you can get it in an indigo matte, which is a blue matte, or a latte gloss color. Um, they have it both available as a step over and a step through design. This is the Ride One Up Step Through Cafe Cruiser. So this bar right here is a little bit lower um, on the step through to make it more accessible for uh, shorter riders and things like that. Ride One Up offers a dozen models, including folding, commuter, fat tire, and even a moped style bike. As I've seen in this bike, they are they does come with high quality fit and finish with some fairly reasonable pricing. It lives up to its name as a cafe cruiser because when you get on this bike and you sit back, grab those handlebars, you definitely get into cruising mode. Those, those handlebars, that cushion seat, that smooth ride, the throttle, it's a cruiser. And if you're looking for a cruiser, this is a good one to consider. Please subscribe, share this with family and friends. And I really encourage you to comment, ask me questions in the in the YouTube, on the YouTube channel. I'm always looking for questions from people and I would like to see some more comments and interactions from everybody. Thank you everybody for watching and may the mobile force be with you.